Ladies and gentlemen, now we are coming to the most exciting application and task because I love ice cream. I guess you do as well. So we already prepared some frozen fruits, which is raspberries and blueberries on top of it, okay? So if you want to do an ice cream, you take just frozen fruits out of your freezer. If you want to do sorbet, you can also use fresh fruits, but then you need to use some ice cubes. So here we are doing not a sorbet, we are doing an ice cream, so we use only frozen fruits. Then what you can use is a little bit of cream, just to sweeten up a little bit, to make it a little bit more creamy. We just put it away. Then for sure, you may know that frozen fruits lose their sweetness. So in that case, we try to help it out a little bit, basically for the kids and for myself as well, with a little bit of honey or sweetener, or you can also use a little bit of syrup. Just one spoon, teaspoon of honey, just go in here, just to sweeten up a little bit. This is absolutely natural, is good for health as well. And at the end, what you can also use, in case you don't want to use any kind of sugar, you can also use banana, because banana is also well known as a nice natural sweetener. I'll use the banana for a different reason. So I just take a little bit, a piece of banana. This is something which makes my ice cream a little bit more creamy. It's very nice. My kids love the taste and flavor of banana. Just half of it is just enough. And then we go ahead and mix it down. Very, very simple, very easy, and done in 30 seconds. We use our chopping blades, go into the bowl, just push it a little bit down, and then just start. I'll cover with my hand a little bit so it doesn't splash out anything. And then just as we do, push down very easy, very gently. You can smile, you can dance, because all the power is in the machine, is not in your arm. Don't forget that. Just go up and down, up and down. Once you have a certain consistency on the top, just hold the jar and just push it downwards. Don't worry, nothing happens. And then you just go down a little bit. Try to catch everything. And you see, very simple, very easy. There is no power needed. And this is a very nice creamy ice cream. Just mix everything together. Go up and down, twist with your arm. And now I think we have done it almost very properly. Yes, look at this nice, delicious, and very smooth ice cream. This is absolutely amazing. Okay, just give it a rinse, and our Bamix is ready for the next, next task. All right? So, as I said before, you can use any type of fruits. Pineapple, apple, cherries, uh, mango, peach, uh, pears, whatever you have. Mostly when I have some fruit left over, I'll chop them in small pieces, not bigger than a cherry, and then I'll put it in the freezer. And whenever I have some unexpected guests, I can easily do my ice cream instantly, all right? And for sure, if you do your ice cream by yourself, you always know exactly what's inside. There's no additives, it's fresh, your kids will love it, your guests will love it, your friends will love it, your family will enjoy it. Absolutely amazing. Look at this nice ice cream. Freshly made at home, absolutely delicious and fantastic. This is what we love about the Bamix. You see, in within 30 seconds, you have got your own ice cream here. Absolutely delicious. All right? So that's how it is. We'll put a little bit of mint on top of it, like this. Some cherries here, some blueberries. And here we have our nice ice cream. Enjoy your ice cream at home.